So yet again, this spot on Verhunga is producing legendary Cape Buffalo, and just to show you on the map where it is, down by this southeast lookout, there's this feed zone here, and as far as I know, every map actually has a feed zone there for Cape Buffalo, and he's actually standing up now, so maybe we can get a quick look. And I would say he's definitely the small horns, but I'd like to try to get him with a bow. I'm just not sure. I mean, the wind's terrible. And even if we could get to within 40 meters, what I expect to happen is the hill is going to be blocking any kind of shot, because that hill's a lot steeper than it looks, and with the grass there too, I just don't see it being very likely, but we'll try. We'll see if we can get within bow range, and maybe if the wind's too bad and we can't, maybe he'll charge us and we can try to get him with the bow that way, but I'm going to leave a marker where I have him spotted there, and... We'll just really, really slowly work our way there and see if we can somehow get a shot without him spooking. I mean, I can still see their backs, so maybe? But I think the closer we get, just with the way the hill is, we're not really going to be able to see, but we'll try. And I think it's that one. It's kind of tough to keep track of them once you can't really spot them, but I don't think he's moved, so that should be the one. I'm hearing a lot of footsteps, so I think... Probably a bunch of them are alert. I don't hear any running just yet, but I started trying to work over to the left and then I realized if we do that, almost certainly we're going to get run over before we can get a shot at him because the only brush that we could actually hide in is way away from him, so we're just going to keep trying to scoot into like probably 45 or he's actually charging us. Alright, can we get this shot then? Let's zero for 20. I can't believe he actually chose to charge us. Out of all the buffalo that are up here. Let's get to the side of him. That's a long shot, so we're just not going to take any risks of messing that up. Both mythicals coming down here as well. The odds of, like, only the biggest Cape buffalo coming down here is kind of crazy, but that's a great one. And I do quite like the gray Cape buffalo, so we're going to try <laughs> to get in here and claim him and just run. And he's a diamond, 154, so again, we're so close. He's low trophy rating for his weight for sure, or maybe this weight at a high trophy rating can be the big horns. Like, he would have had an opportunity for sure to be the bigger horns, but not too bad. Lung, liver, and stomach, and intestine. Pretty much took out everything. But yeah, at that weight, it definitely could have been possible, but we'll definitely take another gray diamond. I think most of the ones uh, with small horns definitely in the lodge that we have are the black fur type, so nice to get a little bit of kind of variance there. Again, this spot, and I feel like I need to mention that I'm not just grinding this spot over and over. It's just that when it happens to be Cape Buffalo feed time after I've hunted the other areas, this is where I go, but I'm thinking about trying to make a 400 meter diamond Cape Buffalo with the 7 mil, which is certainly going to be difficult, and I gotta try to make sure that we're not having him go out of render because I just saw one pop out of render over there so go like a few more steps I feel like I can go till that one de-renders alright so this is probably the very max and to be honest I don't even know where to aim for this I'm just gonna pretty much blindly guess and I do want him to have his head up so we could lose a little bit of range here definitely hit him and the impact looked good now Again, I'm asking for things to go wrong by taking a shot that range, but he's starting to die, so I think we got it. I've done it before at 300 meters, and that worked fine, and really the 7 mil impressed me there, but assuming we actually got to over 400 meters, that would be pretty cool. Like, I've shot 400 meter diamonds before, but it's usually like black buck and stuff like that, so to get a big animal like a Cape Buffalo at 400 meters and with a smaller weapon. That's pretty neat, but apparently he's not going very far, so we might be able to just find him right there. He just went down, so he ought to be right there. But again, just to show it, it's this spot down by the lookout in the southeast, and the reason that it's so good is a lot of Cape Buffalo live down in this area, but I think that's maybe the only feed zone or one of the only feed zones here. So they all kind of congregate, and it's just so common to see level 9's up here, and I said it the last time that I shot, it was the 
two level nines, one diamond and one gold. I can't imagine how many Diamond Cape Buffalo I've run right by going from that outpost to these lakes. Because now I do the same thing, but I just kind of cut over this way a bit to where I can see. But we're almost to him, and I just mentioned the Diamond and the Troll level nines. I really hope this guy makes it. Like, the idea of a 400 meter Diamond Cape Buffalo with the 7 mil, like a weaker weapon for them, seems really cool to me. So, fingers crossed he's going to make it. And he does. Again, we're close. 155.6. But 411 meters through the shoulder blade. People ask me all the time what my opinion is on the best weapon in the game. And I say 7 mil for a lot of reasons. It's the most versatile as far as I'm concerned. Like, there is the drilling rifle that you can cover everything pretty much with the birdshot and the buckshot. And then, of course, the 9.3 ammo. But... The range on this 7 mil, the ability to zero out to 300, and the raw power it has, even, you know, as we just saw, going through a shoulder blade of a Cape Buffalo at 400 meters, it's a great gun, and that's actually really cool. That was well over 400. So I'm finally getting around to actually doing something about this wall, because other than the rares on the sides, it's been pretty much empty for a long time, and you can actually do some cool stuff with it, so we'll have to see what kind of bigger animals we can get for this wall, but yeah. A 155.6 diamond Cape Buffalo at 411 meters with the 7 mil through the shoulder blade as well. Like, I don't know that the 300 could do that. That was really, really cool. And to be honest, I really thought one of them would troll me. Like, they were both the small horns, and we had that video where we killed the two level nines out of the same herd. So I really thought that would happen. And we shot the one with the bow first, so I knew it made diamond already. I thought this one was going to be a troll. And it was so perfect. Like, the place that he was standing, he was so broadside, and we were able to really, like, maximize our distance by watching that other one pop out of render first. It just worked out perfectly, and I'm so glad he actually made it, because, I don't know, I've always wanted to do that, but I was always afraid of messing it up. But then, we're back in this room again. I put the gray one in here, because I think I like the gray ones just a bit better. And this room is really turning out. Like, I really like what we have going on. I don't know if I want to keep all three rare white tail here. Like... Maybe spread them out through the lodge a little bit more. I would probably keep the biggest piebald one, like in the middle, and then do, I don't know, red deer or something on the uh, two sides. But I like it. This room is actually becoming one of my favorites. I think there's still, yeah, we can do like a rabbit or a duck or a goose in these couple of spots. But as far as big game goes, it's actually properly filled up now, so pretty cool. So yeah. Two Diamond Cape Buffalo, one charging with the bow, and one at 400 meters. That's not really what I thought would happen when I set out on Verhunga to do some multiplayer grinding for this video, but it actually turned out to be pretty cool, so I'm quite happy with that. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.